here in beautiful New Orleans. And these here are some scenes from Jackson Square. We're going to be getting ready for some reservations that we made for this evening uh, on the Paddle Wheeler Creole Queen. It's a Mississippi River dinner jazz cruise and we're really looking forward to it. Let me tell you a little bit about this Mississippi River dinner jazz cruise. It says that you step back into the glamour and romance of the riverboat era with a cruise aboard the paddle wheeler Creole Queen. Experience the lively sounds of the amazing Sullivan Dabney Jr. and music jazz band while enjoying a lavish Creole buffet in our elegantly appointed dining rooms. After dinner, and maybe a little dancing, enjoy a classic New Orleans cocktail and sweet Mississippi River breezes on our promenade deck as the city skyline slips by under a canopy of stars. The dinner cruise is pure New Orleans, and that it really truly was. The next morning, me and Ron find ourselves back in the French Quarter, which is our daily jaunt, and we are going to have breakfast this morning again at Cafe Dumont. Um, I'm going to have some more of those wonderful beignets. After Cafe Dumont, we head back over to the French Market. There, we get ready to embark on the old New Orleans rum distillery tour. Over at the French Market, they pick us up in a van and drive us over to the distillery. Once in the distillery, no time is wasted. They head us all straight over to a long bar that has a whole line of shots lined up ready for us to start tasting. Here we taste various types of rum that they make, as well as their famous ginger beer. Once everybody is feeling happy, we embark on the tour. You can't just admire these operations. After all, you have to support them too. So we ended up purchasing a case of rum and their ginger roux. And um, when we got home from New Orleans, we had a case of this fine rum waiting for us, which we really enjoyed. I would definitely recommend the tour to any rum lover visiting New Orleans. Nice folks with a solid product and a heck of a survival story. Back in the French Quarter, we find ourselves at the Louisiana Pizza Kitchen. There we have a fabulous lunch of a brick oven pizza. Something for you to keep in mind if you plan on heading out to New Orleans. 
for breakfasts and lunches, no reservations required, but for dinner. Uh, plan your dinners, know where you're going, and be sure to set reservations for the evening of your dinner uh, if you plan on getting in. Um, dinner reservations are a must in New Orleans. And we did eat our way through New Orleans. We went to some really, really nice uh, restaurants. Me and Ron both hop on this little pedicab. This little gal was, was such a trooper. She drove us quite a few blocks all throughout the French Quarter, and it was so much fun. Uh, she dropped us off at the Acme Oyster House. So once at Acme Oyster House, what do you eat? We eat oysters. Anyway, we ordered ourselves some oysters. We split a poor boy, and I also had some of their seafood gumbo. The food was absolutely delicious. This was one of our lunches in New Orleans. By the way, the poor boy was an oyster poor boy. Okay, this was one night of such a good time. This is at Pat O'Brien's. Um, again, this is the original Pat O'Brien's, uh, the dueling piano bar. This is where you go in, you drink your hurricanes, you've got two pianos, each one is dueling the other, and people hand them little slips of paper with different songs they'd love to hear. Everybody's singing the songs that the piano men or, or women are playing, and uh, it's just so much fun. They have another Pat O'Brien's over in Texas at the Riverwalk. I've been to that one also. Either way, if you see Pat O'Brien's, you have to go in and just enjoy the fun and the camaraderie. After a night at Pat O'Brien's, we had to stop at Lucy's the following morning just for a little bit of hair of the dog. This is another favorite restaurant of ours. It's called Dickie Brennan's Bourbon House. Oh my God, their food is the best of the best. If you're in New Orleans, be sure to stop at Dickie Brennan's Bourbon House. You won't be disappointed. You'll also find a full oyster bar there. And again, make those reservations. That pork chop that Ron is having was to die for. We're back here again at the Court of Two Sisters and the jazz players are playing their tune and they came over and serenaded me for my birthday and they sang the song Sweet Lorraine for my birthday. We're shamelessly eating our way through New Orleans. We're back at Manning's having brats and beer. Another fabulous restaurant that you must try is called the Palm Court Jazz Cafe, and this is on Royal Avenue also. This is where you can have a fabulous dinner, and they play jazz the whole time. It's great. Here we're at the Mulattes Cajun restaurant. 
Um, this is where we listen to Cajun uh, Zydeco music. People are dancing. We even had the cook come from the back of the restaurant to play the washboard. It was really a lot of fun. And the food is totally Cajun. You're eating a lot of uh, red beans and rice, uh, crab, uh, shrimp. It's wonderful. Here we're having dinner at Nola's, Emerald Lagasse's restaurant. Uh, the food is fabulous. Again, all the food in New, New Orleans is so good. There's just a bunch of foodies there. But this is Emerald Lagasse's restaurant, and we really enjoyed uh, the time there. This is another hot breakfast place. It's called the Ruby Slipper Cafe. We had breakfast here a couple of times also. Absolutely fabulous. Afterwards, we head over to Jean Lafitte's blacksmith shop. As they say, what do you do in New Orleans when it rains? You find yourself a bar with a fireplace and you sit and have hot toddies. Absolutely, that's what we did. We were in Jean Lafitte's bar. We were lucky enough to get right in front of the fireplace. And they say, if you stare at the flame of the fires in Jean Lafitte's pirate bar, you'll actually see his face. Lafitte's is located on Bourbon Street in New Orleans. This is definitely a place chock full of history. If only the walls could talk. From Lafitte's blacksmith's shop, we head over to the Carousel Piano Bar and Lounge. It's the only revolving bar in New Orleans, Louisiana. The bar is inside the Hotel Monteleon and overlooks Royale Street in the French Quarter of New Orleans. It was installed in 1949. The 25-seat circular bar turns on 2,000 large steel rollers powered by a one-quarter horsepower motor. The bar rotates at a rate of one revolution every 15 minutes. In addition to the rotating bar, an adjoining room includes booths and tables with live entertainment offered nightly. And this restaurant here is called the Jazz Cafe. It's located on Decatur Street in uh, New Orleans. The food is fabulous. They have a piano player and uh, we had a really nice dinner here. After dinner, we went to the Funky Pirate Blues Club. There we listened to music and we danced the night away and had a fabulous time. We absolutely love New Orleans. Um, highly recommend it. If you've never been there, definitely you have to do it. By the way, when you go to New Orleans, plan on letting your hair down and having a good time. <laughs> 